the story of Melchizedek. Melchizedek was a very important man in the Bible. He was the very first king that was also a priest that was mentioned in the Bible. He was the king of Salem, the future Jerusalem. But Melchizedek was a very mysterious man. One day, he just popped out of nowhere. Melchizedek loved God with all he had. He was a leader with his heart tuned to God. He always did things that would please God and that the Lord wanted him to do. He served the Lord wholeheartedly. Melchizedek always encouraged others to serve God. He encouraged people to build a relationship with God. So let's look at one story of a time when Melchizedek encouraged others to serve the Lord. In the book of Genesis, there's a very important man named Abram. One day, Abram's nephew Lot had gotten himself into trouble and Abram had to go rescue him from their enemies. While they were on their way back home, they met two kings in the king's valley. One was the king of Sodom and the other was the king of Salem, Melchizedek. Melchizedek brought them some bread and some wine and he blessed Abram. He said, Blessed be Abram by God most high, creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God most high who delivered your enemies into your hand. In Melchizedek's blessing, he encouraged Abram to serve the Lord and thank him for giving Abram what he needed to defeat his enemies. He wanted Abram to see how much God had blessed him. After Melchizedek had given Abram this blessing, Abram in return gave Melchizedek a tenth of everything that he had. And then, just like that, Melchizedek disappeared and was never heard from again. Although this king and priest, Melchizedek, disappeared quickly, his significance was not forgotten. The Old Testament book of Psalms, chapter 110, references him, and the New Testament book of Hebrews 7 does as well. In fact, Jesus is described as a priest in the order of Melchizedek. Why do you think this is important that Jesus was linked to Melchizedek? Well, Melchizedek was both a king and a priest, and so was Jesus. Melchizedek was known as a king of peace and a king of righteousness, just like Jesus. And like Jesus, Melchizedek remains a priest forever. Jesus was not described as a Levitical priest for the Israelites only, but as a priest in the order of Melchizedek. This means that Jesus is a priest for all people from every nation, every tribe, and every tongue or language. Everyone, everywhere. The sacrifice that Jesus offered by dying on the cross for our sins was for all people, and that includes you.